you to my pets. Now some of you might know who my pets are and some of you might not know yet. Now I have two pet rats. You might be able to hear one of them drinking water from their water bottle. I have a pet rat called Barney and a rat called Joe and they are brothers. They're about one and a half years old, which is pretty old in, term of, in terms of rat years. And let's have a look at them over here. So this is their cage where they live for most of the day. As you can see, it's very tall and that gives them lots of different levels so that they can climb and they can kind of stretch their legs and get really strong and healthy. So it's got lots of different levels for them to climb. They've also got lots of toys in here. Now rats are really clever and they get bored very easily. So they need lots of different toys to keep them kind of stimulated and to, um, yeah, to keep their mind active. So you can see that they've got some ladders in here and um, they've got a little kind of tunnel in here. Um, here is, that was Barney that you just saw running past. He's quite shy, so he's just got to hide in his box. Um, they've got a little box here and they've got um, some towels and blankets in here to help keep them nice and cosy and warm. Um, down here they've got like a little hammock, which is one of their favourite places to sleep. Um, and they've also got some paper, so they like to whip up the paper to make a little nest for themselves to keep nice and cosy and warm. And they often sleep together as well. They're very, um, very good friends. And yeah, they like to play with each other and they like to kind of cosy up um, so that they get each other's body heat and so that they stay nice and warm. They've also got a litter tray at the bottom. Now, they're not the best at using the litter tray. So at the moment, they tend to kind of use the toilet around lots of different areas of the cage. So that means that I clean them out lots because um, rats are very clean, clean animals. Um, so they like a nice clean cage, otherwise it can kind of upset their kind of nose and their lungs. So I clean them out really regularly. Um, but yeah, let's go and meet them. So like I said, Bonnie's just hiding in his little box at the moment. He's just having a little clean in there. And he's, like I said, he's quite shy, but he might come out later to say hello. He also loves food, so some food might help to entice him out a little bit. Now these are um, rat pellets that we give to them. Bonnie! And the rat pellets have got lots of kind of like nutrients and healthy foods in there which keep them nice and strong and healthy. <laughs> um, so yes, these are the rat pellets that we give to them. And like I said, they've got all the nutrients there, especially designed for rats, so they keep them very healthy and they're nice and crunchy and hard as well. So rats' teeth kind of keep growing continuously, so these help to keep their teeth kind of worn down a little bit and stop them from getting too long. Now let's see if we can find Joe. Now this is Barney, who you saw earlier hiding in his box. So he's come out to say hello, and he's just eaten a little bit of cheese. So Barney absolutely loves cheese. We can't give it to them too often because it's not too good for them. But as a little treat, it's okay. So he's just nibbling a little bit of cheese. Um, and yeah, this is Barney. Barney is very friendly. He's a little bit shy but he much prefers kind of cuddles. He likes climbing around the back of your arms. Um, he much prefers cuddles compared to Joe. And um, he is a little bit more shy, but he kind of, he tends to sit on you for a little bit longer and is a little bit more um, kind of patient. Whereas Joe is very energetic. He loves climbing, he loves exploring, and he doesn't tend to sit still for too long. Whoops. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Barney loves cheese and he loves lots of different foods. And Joe also loves um, all sorts of foods. So we mainly give them the pellets, which is the main part of their diet. And then we also like to give them lots of different fruits and vegetables. Um, so Joe's just enjoying some sweet corn and some peas. They also love all sorts of different things. So they like egg, um, they like tofu, they like beans. They like some different nuts. They like all sorts of different things and seeds they like as well. Um, and as you can see, Joe is doing a, some really good balancing on the bowl. So he's um, making sure that he's not kind of tipping forwards or backwards using his tail. Now, lots of people seem to think that rats are really horrible creatures and that their tails are quite scary or disgusting, but the tails are really important for rats and their balance. So you can see that Joe is keeping his tail kind of nice and straight here, and then he's resting it on the table, and that's stopping him from kind of wobbling over. And it means that they are amazing climbers, 
and they're very resourceful. They can get pretty much anywhere to find lots of different types of food. Those favourite puzzles, and in here there's some different um, pellets kind of hidden. So what he needs to do, he's not done it in a while, so I'm not sure if he'll be able to remember. He should be able to then. So what he needs to do is he needs to pull the string, and that's going to release the box. Over here. Here. And then it should pull the box out, and he'll be able to get the pellets from inside. Now Joe, more so than Barney, loves different challenges, um, and he's very good at working out different puzzles. And as I said earlier, rats are really intelligent, so it's really important to give them lots of different puzzles like this to keep them interested. And Joe has, um, he likes to hide his pellets sometimes, so he's just run off, run off underneath the sofa so that he can stash his pellets. And that's because when they're kind of out in the wild, they need to make sure that they've got plenty of food. So Joe's just making sure that he's got his stash under there so that if he's ever hungry, then he can go to his stash and he knows that he's always got lots of food to keep him strong and healthy. Now Joe is a really good climber and he loves climbing up your trouser legs. Sometimes, now I'm letting him do it this time, but sometimes he does it when you're not really wanting him to. So sometimes you'll just be kind of walking around the living room and next thing you stand still for a second, next thing you know, Joe's kind of jumping up, climbing up your leg and is, um, is on your shoulder and he loves to sit on shoulders and climb around um, he's very mischievous and I've had to make sure that the living room is very safe for when he climbs around to make sure that he doesn't injure himself now I'm just going to pop Joe back in his cage so that you can have a look and when you carry rats it's really important that you support um, their kind of back legs and that you also kind of hold them on the front as well to make sure that you're not kind of squashing any of the soft um, kind of organs and things inside his body so you need to make sure you support the bottom and then also the top part or the front part of his body. Now I'm just going to lift the um, lid of the box here so that you can see Barney a bit better. Now you might be able to remember, oops, you might be able to remember I said that Barney and Joe are brothers but they do actually look quite different. Oh Barney's <laughs> gone down there. Um, but they do actually look quite different. So you can probably see Barney is um, a bit darker with his grey on his back and his hair is a lot smoother, whereas Joe's a bit lighter in colour and he's a lot kind of paler. Also, you might be able to notice that their size is quite different too. So Barney's a lot bigger and Joe's a lot smaller. Um, I'm not too sure why that is. Potentially, Joe was maybe the runt of the litter. Um, but they tend to get on really well. Sometimes they do fight a little bit, just like brothers and sisters might do. Um, but yeah, Barney tends to be the boss a bit more just because he's a bit bigger, I think. But yeah, so this is Barney and Joe. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about how I look after them. Um, and then we'll say bye-bye to them. So as I mentioned earlier, I need to clean out the cage lots. Um, they like nice clean cages, so that kind of is better for their sort of noses and for their lungs. I always make sure that they have plenty of fresh, fresh water in their water bottle. And I make sure that they have enough food and make sure that I kind of give them fresh fruit and vegetables as well. And they also need lots of places to kind of hide and to climb. Um, but yeah, they're great pets. You also need to let them, well, I let them out of the cage every day for at least an hour. Um, and that way they can have enough exercise and kind of strengthen their muscles. But I think rats are amazing pets. Um, they do take quite a lot of time and effort to look after. So if you do feel like you want to get a pet rat, make sure that you have enough time and that you can care for them properly. But I really hope that this has um, kind of shown you what amazing animals they are and that they're absolutely nothing to be afraid of or to be scared of. And they're not, you know, they're not disgusting animals like lots of people seem to think. They're actually amazing, intelligent, friendly and really funny animals to have as pets. Now let's say bye bye to Joe. 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 Bye bye, Joe. Bye bye. And let's say bye bye to Barney. Bye bye, Barney.